As the final touches are made, there is little doubt what is on Lebanon's mind. The outspoken Iranian leader Mahmoud Ahmadinejad is due in the country for the first time on a trip that is dividing the nation. The official visit, which will include meetings with the Lebanese president and prime minister, is being welcomed by the powerful Shiite militant group Hezbollah, long seen as a proxy of Shia-dominated Iran. The group is classified as a terrorist organization by the US, but in their bastion of southern Beirut, supporters are set to welcome Iran's premier with open arms. <laughs> We are happy that Ahmadinejad is visiting Lebanon. He's a great man. We will go to meet him and we will carry him from airport in Beirut to the south, to the Beka, to the whole of Lebanon. Iran has helped us. It has helped Hezbollah. It helped to rebuild the country. It has helped the country in every way. But not everyone is so pleased. Both the US and neighboring Israel, whose volatile border Ahmadinejad is set to visit, have voiced their concerns, saying his presence threatens regional stability. And within Lebanon's own national unity government, members of the Western-backed March the 14th Alliance are concerned that Tehran is using the visit to cement its place as the region's superpower. He is telling the international community various things. Firstly, that I control Israel's security, Lebanon's security and that of the Gulf. If you want security in the Middle East, you must take us into account and negotiate with me as soon as possible. Concern has been raised about the Iranian leader's stop off in southern Lebanon, an area which was devastated during the 2006 war between Hezbollah and Israel and rebuilt with the help of Iranian money. But despite rising tensions, Hezbollah's leader Hassan Nasrallah has called on his supporters to celebrate ties with their most powerful ally and may even appear in public for the first time since 2008. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad too knows the world will be watching.